Well, hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well, you're looking good. Uh, today we are testing some more kitchen gadgets. Uh, one of my favorite playlists, uh, and if you've missed any of the other videos, there's quite a lot now. Uh, there's a link to the playlist up here and down below, so maybe watch it after uh, this video. Just before we get started, as usual, uh, please consider before putting a comment down below that some of these uh, elements, they're not elements, are they? Some of these gadgets might be useful for people that have disabilities. So without further ado, let's get going. So quite a bit of this video today randomly is gonna need uh, boiling water to cook uh, certain foods. So we're just getting a little pan on the go. All right, first gadget, boom, is this amazing cookbook. Uh, not really, it's just a little plug. Uh, if you like cooking, this is my first cookbook that came out about 18 months ago. So a uh, little plug, link down below if you wanna get it. And also my new one is coming out in about two months. So that's exciting, isn't it? But there'll be an announcement on that. Anyhow, uh, gadget. First gadget, folks, is an automatic can or tin opener. We've got a non-branded, hashtag not spawn video uh, tin there. I think it's spaghetti bolognese. Just rip the label off, could be dog food. And this is possibly the best can opener. We've had some problems in the past with ones that weren't that great. This one potentially should do the whole thing for you. Um, it needs AA batteries, effortless, convenient and durable. Touch to start, touch to stop. 50% faster opening cans. I've got this vision of a guy with a stopwatch going, go, okay, you're done. No? And that is basically it. Um, the only thing that as standard, you do need to bring some AA batteries along. So I've got some of those from the remote control on our television. So the kids later will be like trying to watch TV programs go, and I'll just leave the football on. I'm only joking, I don't get time to watch football. <laughs> Oh, another announcement is I've got a studio uh, on the way. So rather than filming in my kitchen all the time soon, I'm gonna have a whole, ma it's huge and it looks, you're gonna love it. So uh, we'll look out for that soon. Anyhow, this is nice. This looks like a bit like a computer mouse. Um, one touch, one time, one time, uh, one touch culinaire can opener. It's got a big start stop thing on it that I wanna press. And that is basically about it. There's your little can opening thing. My water's starting to boil, that's good. And we just pop that open. Yes. Oh, I'm just hoping I don't accidentally turn it on and like chew up my finger. There we go, it's on. So hopefully if I press this button. Oh, I think it just stops on its own. That's cool. Cause then really it is handless, motionless. So put it on the can like that. There we go, sorry. <laughs> oh! The lid's off. It worked. <laughs> I've got to be honest, it didn't fit on there snugly. I don't know how I've managed to turn it off there. It's very weird like that. But look, it has taken the lid off really neatly. So for some people that struggle to open tins, that is phenomenally good. I really like that. This next one's more of a novelty. I went shopping with Mrs. Barry the other day and we saw this thing and it was basically bubbles for your Prosecco. It makes it shimmer, apparently. Um, it kind of reminds me of like bubble tea balls, but for your Prosecco. I keep my shape and flavor until you burst me. My shimmer will make your drink look magical. If you, your Prosecco is super fizzy, I will float to the top. My shell is made from seaweed extract and I am suitable for vegans and Kodiaks. It's kind of like a dating website. Hi, I'm kind of suitable for vegans. I uh, made from seaweed and all that stuff. Okay, some sort of tube. And there it is, pop a ball, pop a ball. Other brands are available. I'm not paid for any of this, by the way, folks. Other than the advert before this video, which of course you watched, please. Ooh, there we go. I've opened it up like that. It looks a little bit like um, chunky caviar. Very strong. I feel like I needed a better glass. <sighs> Woo! 
Wow. Must say, I don't mind a little bit of uh, Prosecco. To me, it's kind of like the modern day baby sham. Mm. It's one of those drinks that you just enjoy, and then after you've had five or six, you're on the dance floor at someone's wedding making a complete fool of yourself. True story. So let's grab our shimmery cherry balls. Check that out. Amazing. In they go. Woo! Okay, we've got our fizz. Nope, it hasn't changed the flavour to cherry. Um, and all the balls are at the bottom, so we'll have to get to them, won't we? It's only nine o'clock in the morning, so you've got to cut me a bit of slack. So what I'm finding is, I was kind of hoping that the, the balls would just kind of, as I'm drinking it, just go in my mouth. But basically, they're just sinking and staying right at the bottom, like stones in a fish tank. But I've reached them now, had quite a lot of Prosecco, and life is good. Mm, mm, mm. Oh! Mmm, cherry burst explosion. It is just like bubble tea or kind of like those balls that you'd put in the bath, that kind of texture. It just, poof, I'm hitting cherry all over my mouth. But it doesn't really kind of merge in with the Prosecco because you're kind of drinking the Prosecco. Prosecco, am I drunk? Not, ooh, maybe. Uh, and then the balls come along afterwards. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm supposed to use this straw. That makes way much more sense. I've just drunk a glass of Prosecco unnecessarily. Hello guys, how are you doing? You enjoying this so far? Nice. The water is ready and for this next batch we need some ingredients. Um, the first thing is some jasmine rice. That's going in. Uh, jasmine rice is kind of like a nice sticky rice and it's going to be perfect for the gadget we need. But to help bring it to life slightly we're going to use some peas as well. I'm just going to cook up some peas. Rice and pea. I also need a cabbage and I started peeling the leaves off going this is quite a bad cabbage. And obviously it's a cauliflower isn't it? Uh, so while that's Got 15 minutes to cook the rice. I'm going to turn the heat down, leave my house and go get some cabbage. That fresh air has hit me hard since I've just left the house. I think that Prosecco has really done its job. Yeah, we've got a cabbage. I've come back to what smells like a curry house. My rice is cooking away, my peas are like, I don't need to be cooked this long, but it's fine. I've got me cabbage. So we need to just carefully um, put some leaves into the boiling water so it'll wilt. Probably about three to five minutes. We still want it a little bit manoeuvrable, but as I say, it will make sense. Don't know what's happened to Lizzie while I've been out as well. She's just fainted. She's had enough. What's the matter with you, mate? Oh, God. We've got time to do one more innuendo field gadget for the moment. This is the banana card. It's freaking enormous. Look at the size. I've never seen bananas that big before. Uh, but basically, yes, the banana card. No more squashed bananas specially designed to fit the vast majority of bananas. Multiple small per perforations to prevent premature ripening. Sturdy lock mechanism gives you perfect bananas anytime, anywhere. So basically, is a freaking big ass banana. And check out that kink, huh? Check out that kink. Uh, it's like a banana gun. This thing's, I've, got, I've never seen bananas this big before. Okay, open this up. Wow, all of your banana paradise in one case. So I have um, a banana. Yes, I'll call you back. Um, I choose you, banana. Uh, this is interesting with the holes in it, isn't it? Because like they're saying, they don't want to over ripen it. So you just want it to just be protected. Um, so it's kind of like, why would you do that? Is it like you're working in an office where people are trampling? Do you ru like rush with your bag in the morning or commute? Does your banana get that pulverized? Maybe you work on a building site and rocks are going to fall on it. Protection for your banana. Banana goes in like so. Oh. This one is, yeah, yeah, to be fair, that is a big ass banana I've got right there. I'm gonna put this in, Ugh, hopefully not cut anything. Lock that, lock that. It ain't fitting. My banana's too big. There's a bit too much girth on that one. But as always, we wanna make it work, so let's uh, try a different one. This one goes in, again, quite girthy. Let's tighten it on the small end first. Yes, there we go, she's in, locked in, boom. So how am I gonna test if it works? Yeah, yeah, okay, it's opened up. That's defeated the point of it. Oh, that's proper in now. Let's chuck it down the stairs. Right dogs, you stay down there. I've got a banana, all right? I'll get out of the way when this comes down, all right? Well, that didn't work. All right, let's 
give it credit where it's due. You're not gonna generally throw this down the stairs, are you? You're gonna have it in your bag on the way to work, all that stuff, and yes, it does work. Don't throw it down the stairs, you'll be fine. Protect your banana. I've taken my rice and pea and cabbage mixture off of the heat, and I need that in just a moment, uh, because of the first gadget, it's something called a rice cube. A lot of you have asked me to look at this thing. Um, you can model rice into any shape once it's cooked and cooling down and put it in a glass. You can make an epic tower. Uh, but this is basically the same way and there are some really cool uh, quirky suggestions there. I'm gonna see if this works and I might try it on a future video like really pimp it up. So that's what my rice and peas are for. Isn't Ice Cube the guy from Deep Blue Sea? I used to love that song back in the day. Not the best cooking I've ever done. So it's kind of like this really funky uh, modular thing. It's thing also like it should be more like one of those toy mazes that you get. Uh, and it, yeah, it helps to make a cube out of rice. I'm not sure how looking at that that's gonna make a cube, but we'll go with it. Okay, so although that bit comes apart, it stays generally together and you lift this bit and that reveals your square. So apparently my starting position has to be like that. And then it says, add just enough filling to fill the well, well, uh, with food. So we get our cooked rice in here. Put our rice in. I might put some peas as well. There you go, got some peas on there as well. Rice hamper, rice hamper. Okay, I'm gonna lift it up. Can you see it there like that? Our rice hamper is in there. We close the top to seal it in. Keep the top down gently and press inwards. So I'm gonna use my thumb there, watch. It's like a magic trick. Here we go. Ooh, come on. It wants to rise. It wants to rise. Okay, yes. Yes, we are there. A little bit of rice residue coming out the sides. It's in. So because this rice isn't completely cold yet, I'm just gonna leave it for the moment and we'll do a little reveal in a bit, but we just basically take it out and it should be a cube of rice. I got sent this, thank you to whoever sent me this, apparatus for wrapping dolma or stuffed cabbage, hence me needing to go get cabbage. Uh, you can also get, is it grape leaves, something like that? Uh, it's a delicacy in some countries where you serve something wrapped in uh, the cabbage leaves, which we just cooked because you need them to be a bit more maneuverable. So we're just gonna shove the rice hand pee in there with this. Now, uh, Dolma, I actually thought was the name of somebody that lives in American way out west. Hey, Dolma, would you mind getting me some chickens on that ranch right there? I kid you not, I actually came like bent like that. Look at that packaging, amazing. Uh, but it's all good. Thank you so much to all of you that are sending me gadgets. I have got loads uh, upstairs still to get through. I love it when there's no instructions. It's got like a tongue on it. Look at that, it's a conveyor belt. I got a, I got a supermarket shelf. That's perfect for my mini food. I can do a mini supermarket. This goes like that. I'll just show you what I'm exactly gonna do. This is all the instructions. Put in the grape or cabbage leaf into the dome. So we sit it in here. Let's get it. Cause kind of get a facial with it. Cause it's nice and hot and steamed, a bit more maneuverable, okay? So we place it in, like right in there, like so. Put on a sheet or other stuffing and put all two together. I'm really confused, but this might be a trial run. So I'm putting that in there. Part of me thinks I need to wrap this and then we just roll it. Or well, my other vision is that we just roll it. And when it says put all two together, I'm kind of feeling that I need to at least roll in the sides. So let's just do that. And then that, you know, so it's kind of got like a clean run at it. And then we just go like this. Well, that didn't work. Bir, e, başlarken, bir kez, <laughs> if I just push it, it's just like moving it along. That's not working. I really want this to work. Do you know what? I think I'm making it too big. There's actually a divot in it. The hell is that? I tell you what, that felt so wrong, but so right. It's actually worked, and I mean, it's not the prettiest looking dolma, but the rice is in there. I haven't done that perfectly, so you guys love putting comments of how I've done these wrong. Let me know down below the best way to do that, and I'll retest it. Just keep finding random bits of rice on my arm. So anyhow, speaking of rice, let's see how that square's got on. 
Very much enjoying the uh, halo present of the pug. Amy, in the background. She's loving it. Open the top. Okay, that's optional, or slide back to the start line. Pull back to start only. Okay, so that's there. <gasps> Do you see it's moved? Close the lid and pull the side piece upwards. Okay, so we go down with this. Okay, and then we go up, upwards. Oh my gosh. Lift the top. Oh my, this is amazing. Look at that. Can you see it? Look. I've got a perfect cube. Well, that's a bit boring that side, isn't it? But look, cha-ching. Rice and pear, rice and pear. Amazing. I am gonna eat you. Bit bland. But the potential for this is incredible. I'm gonna do a dedicated video recipe where I just pimp up loads of different ideas using the rice. But any suggestions you've got for that, for fillings and stuff, let me know down below and I'll include them. If you've got a sweet tooth, uh, apparently I do say that wrong, but I don't care, that's how I say it. Somebody like, poof, in the comments with an F. I just, that's how I say it, okay? You know what it is, you know that I'm not talking about a hat, a teeth, tooth. Uh, this, if you have a sweet tooth, is a mini ice cream sandwich maker. I've done a food hack on something very similar to this using a tub of Ken and Jenny's ice cream, but this makes it easier for you, okay? So we can do different shapes, it's like a plunger thing. We need ice cream, which I've got. We need cookie, which I've got. So let's do it. All right, three in the box. Oh, we've got a heart-shaped one. We've got a star and we've got uh, uh, just a circle. Uh, circles are boring, let's do a star. Oh, oh. <laughs> Halo pug. Oh. But I need to get in the freezer. Come on. Thanks, mate. Bargain Dars salted caramel ice cream. Amazing. All right, so we have got ourselves a gorgeous double chocolate chip cookie. Mm. We're going to plunge the cookie. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. This is a bit I'm not sure of. It just says scoop the ice cream. Yeah, you just scoop it and then I guess the compression will push it all together. <sighs> scoop it in. Got a bit excited, sorry. That's blooming nice. We then stamp again. So I've run out of area on that cookie, so we'll get another one. Press it right in the middle. Okay, we're in. Get rid of excess cookie. So if you can see that at the moment, there's a cookie, ice cream in a random place, and another cookie that's actually quite wonky. But if we twist this, here we go. Uh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh. Look, it's formed a perfect star. Ice cream, look at that folks. I mean, I went a bit overboard on the ice cream, but it's freaking amazing. Stonking. There we go then folks, another kitchen gadget testing video done and in the bag. If you've seen any quirky ones, get in touch via the myvirginkitchen.com contact form. All right, my favorite one was that ice cream sandwich. So, so good. Check out the playlist if you want to see more. And I'll see you again next time.